Hey, we had a great time, uh, as Lisa said, in Germany. That is the, that is the nation that has uh, known the likes of Martin Luther with the Reformation. And of course, I'm always thinking historically with all these things. You have to do that when you're in the nation's capital in the area around here. And I love history. And Germany, I believe, has great days ahead and is seeing a movement of God that is happening, including through uh, Ecclesia, which is uh, the uh, denomination that we were working with when we were there in Germany. We had uh, over a thousand people that were in the meetings, and Lisa and I had a great time ministering. Uh, there were wonderful people there, wonderful youth groups, wonderful uh, people that uh, are more mature in life and are seeing a new generation coming up and have a heart for that. We were even protested, and I've never been protested before. I loved it. It was just, it just made me feel like somebody, you know? I see it happening to our president all the time. Um, and, uh, and by the way, Lisa, it happened in Germany, I think before the G8 conference, they're all protesting. And, you know, I, for me to be a part of a protest just makes me feel special. And, and so there were a couple of older ladies that came up right before I, I got up to preach, and they didn't know I was getting up to preach, but they were saying things. I said, oh, aren't, don't they just look sweet? Look at these little, you know, elderly ladies, and then I realized little elderly ladies with an attitude. <laughs> but anyway. So we had a great time there in Germany, went on up to uh, Berlin, pastors from all over Germany there. We were teaching the equipped materials of John Maxwell, and it inspired me even towards the message that I want to deliver today. Then we went on up to England and, uh, and went into Westminster Abbey. How many of you have been to London, England? Great. Wow, that's a, we have an international, uh, at least a globe-trotting crowd here. And uh, we went into Westminster Abbey, and that's really a uh, church that's also a cemetery because all the kings and queens are buried there, and they have the, uh, the chair that is the coronation chair that, that kings and queens since the 1300s have been coronated, like our inauguration, they've been coronated on that chair. And so Prince William someday will be coronated on that chair. So we prayed and we made it a prayer walk that everyone that ever sits in that chair will be filled with the presence and the power of God. We were around the areas where John Wesley would preach and where Charles Hayden Spurgeon would preach and where William Booth started the Salvation Army and would go out into the streets to give people soap and salvation, soap, soup, and salvation, the three S's. And so we went throughout England, or throughout London, as a prayer walk. And I believe that God is going to move again in Germany, and God's going to move again in England. And we have a part in that. Can you say amen? amen. We've got a part in that. These are our brothers and sisters. We pray for them. And they're uh, you know, six hours ahead of us or so, which means um, at the time that you were praying for us last week, we were moving into an evening service that the Spirit of God just blew that place a heart with what he was doing. People were healed of the deepest of things in their lives, and many were saved. And so we're thrilled to see what's going on in Germany and in England. There was a youth group there, our good friend, friends Christian and Manuela. Uh, they are our hosts there in Germany, and they brought their youth group uh, for an evening over to their home, and we got to get to know them. And I asked them, who is your favorite American movie star? And who do you think they said? Okay, we've got a Brad Pitt fan over here. <laughs> okay. Who else? Who? I heard a Johnny Depp in there. Oh, Baywatch. Oh, ha oh David Hasselhoff. No. It <laughs> but it's good to know you watch that show. Um, no, it was uh, actually, uh, it was Doris Day. Yeah? Hey, now they're watching by YouTube. You make them feel honored with their Doris Day thing that they said at, at, at Doris Day. And they love Doris Day over there. Now, I heard that in France, they, they love uh, Jerry Lewis. I don't, I don't know why, but I've... I, uh, hey, lady, or whatever. And they love that. And so, they, you know, whatever. I won't go into that.